How you doing everybody? How you doing today? Hope you're doing awesome. Okay, what are we checking out today? Madonna, like a prayer. Why? Because this is a dedicated request. Goes with the cheeky cupcake, so shout out to cheeky. This one goes out to you, Madonna, like a prayer. Let's go. Yeah, I've heard the song before. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I've definitely heard this song, but I've not watched the music video. So, let's get into it. And it's been a long time since I've heard this song too. Oh, what's going on here? Right at the gate, you got brown hair, curly brown hair instead of blonde, you know, but Madonna had a lot of different looks over the years, right? But yeah, and we got this kind of like, they got this slow motion effect, dramatic effect put on the camera at points, you know? I wonder what kind of story she's gonna tell with the music video, I'm excited. Kicks in good. Okay, okay, okay. This is weird. I'm getting mixed things from these lyrics. Okay, right at the gate, it's especially with the video here, it's making it seem like it's like religious song. You know, like there's a lot of religious uh, kind of faith things on the go. I don't know the word I was looking for instead of things, but either way, yeah, it's like there's that, but I don't know the subtext of it. It's She's also singing like she's like making out with a lover, you know what I mean? Uh, and she's just using kind of like religious terms in that their relationship and when they're like, <clears throat> lose my voice, when they're like getting it on, it's like so magical. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but that's just the vibe. Like, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm way off on this and I'm going to get flamed in the comments, but I don't know. I don't feel like it's, even though it got all this like overlay of religious symbolism, I don't think the song is about that. <laughs> the midnight hour, see? No, don't do it. It's like, when you call me in the midnight hour, so when you call me in the middle of the night, you know, I'll be there like a prayer, I'll be down on my knees, and like, and it's just like, a lot of these lyrics are very much, I'm trying not to have a dirty mind about it, but I feel like that's kind of the context of the song a little bit here. Uh, but then we got this video here, and like, but then there's like some other lines that make me question that, and I'm like, maybe not, maybe it's just like, another person in your life, uh, is your salvation and you're like I don't know fall to your knees and you're pleading with them and being like you know like you you came here and you saved me you know this kind of thing like whether that's like a god or like friggin uh, like a friend 
you know, like somebody in your life who you called over and was just like, you're here like a prayer, you're answering my prayer kind of thing, you're like, you know, saving me when I'm at my lowest point or something, like, I don't know, I'm getting mixed, <laughs> mixed, I'm trying to be like, am I crazy on this theory or not, I don't know. When you call my name, it's like, What's this guy now? What's that guy now? Burning the crosses? Woo, that goes hard. singing about a relationship like your voice will take me there you know and just i don't know all the lyrics are basically they feel stronger leaning towards being in love passionately passionately in love with somebody more so than anything to do with religion but yet here we got this like choir singing and hymns and burning crosses and churches and police officers arresting people like what what <laughs> theory i guess technically is it a mix of both is it a song about her having an affair with somebody of the cloth you know what i mean like some priest or something and that's what it's all about because they just did it like that guy right was wearing the cloth and now they're like friggin making out on the floor of a church makes sense too so then maybe it's a bit of both right right maybe <laughs> You want to clap, don't it? Wait. That guy looks... He's got... Is that the same guy in the church wearing the cloth? Like, he looks the same. His face looks exactly the same. Is that the symbolism? Because we got two different stories on the go. Like, one second she's in a church. Either way, she's wearing the same outfit each time. But she's in the church, and she looks at this statued figure, or wax figure or something, that comes to life and looks identical to him. And then they're like making out. And then he goes back to being a wax figure. And then we pan over here and he's in prison because we've seen him get arrested. Oh my God. So it is like a relationship with him. And, and is he thrown behind bars because he did something he shouldn't do? And is no, but why is there a wax figure of him in a church unless he's a religious symbol? I'm so confused. Am I overthinking it? Probably. I love the choir in the background and Were they putting on a play? Is that why they all did a bell? And there's a dropping curtain. So they were putting on a play. That I got horribly confused about. Maybe I was right. Maybe I was wrong. You can comment below and let me know. 
I've already, buddy, I'm baffled on that one. I got a mix of both column A, a little bit of column B, and then it came together sort of in a column C. I'm not too sure. Comment down below. Let me know if I'm crazy or if I went way off on that or if I'm exactly right. Either way, if you want more of a down on the channel, be sure to let me know in the comments and watch one of these things. Peace and love, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. All right, take care. Bye.